Hi, I'm Dave with Little Giant Ladder Systems, and I'd like to take a minute to show you the easiest way to get your classic Little Giant into the scaffolding position. First thing you want to do is open your ladder up into the small A-frame position. Now pull the pins on the side and telescope the outer section of the ladder down, pushing the inner section away from you. Allow it to slide all the way down so you're taking off one complete outer half of the ladder. Now just set that si aside for a second. Do the same thing over here on the other side. Pull out the lock tabs on the side, tip the inner away, and allow the outer to slide all the way down. Now put this four foot trestle where you're gonna use it. Now let's concentrate on these two outer halves. When they come off the ladder, the rungs are gonna be facing to the outside. They have these orange caps on them facing away from each other. In order to lock them together, what you're gonna to need to do is turn one of the outer sections so that the rungs are facing you. Then take the pins from the back half of the ladder and lock them into the front ladder. So now they're hooked together. As you spread them apart, you wanna make sure that this front ladder sits down a little bit so that it's kind of up against that orange rung cap so that it gets the proper flare. Now as you have this ladder open, you can see that you could put a plank on here, but if you went to move this, there's nothing actually holding that open like there is over here on the inner with the hinge. So the work platform is designed to have these two little tabs on the back side of the platform. What you're gonna wanna do is rotate those tabs about three quarters of the way out. Come down three rungs, put the hoop of the work platform on one rung, and then the little notches on these spreader bars are gonna wrap around the, uh, the rung on the opposite side. And then just press that down and it'll lock it open into place. So now you've got a se secure four foot trestle uh, on both sides. Now spread that out to where you need to and then grab whatever kind of plank you're gonna use. We recommend the little giant telescoping planks that come in three different sizes. And just bring that down, open that up and slide it through. Now when you're using a ladder in the, in the scaffolding position, you can use it one foot off the ground, two feet off the ground, three feet off the ground, and that's safe to jump up and climb on back and forth. If you're gonna move the plank up to the top rung, then you can use it as a work service, but you shouldn't climb on it when the ladder's up on the type, top rung. So top rung is a work surface, third, or second step, third step, and fourth step, you can use uh, to stand on and walk back and forth on. This is really gonna save you a lot of time when you're painting a, a whole room. Set this up, walk back and forth, do the entire wall instead of moving your ladder every couple of feet. Hope you enjoy it, hope it saves you a lot of time.